Good morning. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome to another Carla Sounds a Bit Groggy charity shop haul. Carla's still a bit groggy. It's been four weeks. I went down to Newton Abbott to stay with Caroline for one night and obviously while I was there we did charity shops because that's what we do. That's what we do. And so I thought I would show you what I got in the charity shops in Newton Abbott. Now, you're going to have to be patient with me. I don't remember the names of the shops because it's not my local area. I won't necessarily remember what I got where. So if that's important to you, then I'm sorry, that's probably not going to happen. But I do know that we did the ordinary Newton Abbott shops and then we went to St Mary Church and did some there. And I think, well, I know this bag is from St Mary Church. So there is a shop in St Mary Church called... I think it's Punks Against Poverty, I think it's called. And we popped in there and I spotted some Kat Von D shoes. And I was like, oh, Kat Von D shoes, oh, oh, oh. Um, but that's not the first pair bear with. This is the first pair I spotted. They were just on their own over by the window and, I, and not everything in there is priced. It's a little independent shop. Sorry, got interrupted, had to go downstairs. As I was saying, it's independent and that means the pricing can be a bit fluid and not everything is priced all the time. So I called out to the lady how much are the shoes and she said five pounds and I thought oh, five pounds for Kat Von D shoes I'll give them a go. So they are quite a shoe as I think you'll agree quite a shoe. They are what size are they? They're quite a small size I believe. 37 I think that's a four or a five isn't it? Is it a five? I've got a feeling 37 is a 4 or 5, but since I moved into this room, I've lost my bit of paper that tells me so. Might be 4. Anyway, they are, as I said, quite a shoe, and they were £5. And I thought, oh, yeah, there's probably going to be a profit in there. As it turns out, I've had a quick look, and there isn't any exciting profit in them at all, from what I can tell. Which is annoying, because as you saw a moment ago, I bought two pairs. Not both the same. These ones are slightly different. In fact, these are very different. Still extremely high, still still something I wouldn't have a hope in hell of walking in. But these ones are a black glitter with an orange velour bow. And these are a size six and a half, it says, according to the box. EU 40, six and a half, so maybe a 37 is a four then. So yeah, if you're into a pair of extremely high, can't stand up for long in those shoes, although to be fair, you may be the kind of person who absolutely can stand up for long in them. You might be one of those people who puts on a pair of high heeled shoes and goes to work on the Debenhams perfume counter. Is Debenhams even still going? Have you seen those people? You know, the, the ladies on the perfume or makeup, makeup counters who spend the entire day in heels on their feet. And I'm like, because I can't stand up at all. So yeah, I bought those two. Those were in St. Mary Church and they were £5 a pair. If I'm lucky, the return on them might be a tenner. So they were not a good investment. And also from the Punks Against Poverty, which also I thought might be better than it turns out to be, was Bambi. Um, she was, she, is Bambi a he or a she? He's a he, isn't he? £3.49. And again, not much return on him, so he was disappointing as well. He's got a light up face. I'm not sure why. Does Bambi blush in the movie? Do you know, I've never seen Bambi. Somebody said to me, it's sad, and so therefore I haven't watched it. I don't watch anything that's sad. <laughs> But yeah, so his face lights up when you press his paw. He's a genuine Disney store. I'm sure, I saw the, saw the thing somewhere. Is he? Maybe, maybe, I, maybe I'm imagining things. Do you know, I would have sworn that I saw the Disney store thing on him and now I can't see it. I'm sure I saw it in the shop. No, he's Disney at Primark. It gets worse. It gets absolute. I would have absolutely sworn to you that I saw the little round Disney embroidered logo when I bought him. <laughs> it obviously wasn't a good buying day. I paid £4.50 for a pair of Clark's unstructured moccasin flat shoes. I've sold these before in pink, so... I was fairly confident that they were worth picking up, even even though £4.50, so I put things in the bag, £4.50 is a bit higher than I would like to go. But um, at this point, I think I was buying out of desperation. I don't know why, because as we know, I have a backlog of unlisted stocks. So why am I buying out of desperation? Your guess is as good as mine. I paid a pound for a little Hulk bobblehead. 
don't know whether that's worth having or not. This is Marvel Avengers Endgame Hulk bobblehead and I haven't looked him up to find out what he's worth. And then in the animals in... Oh, the, the um, Clarkson structure were for the animals in distress and so was Tractor Ted Goes Milking which was 50p. 50p for Tractor Ted Goes Milking. And from, I think this is Bernardo's shop. It's the one that's... Um, Kind of up a little side road in St Mary Church by Sainsbury's and it's very expensive usually. And there was a lady in there doing some really loud, obvious parenting. Do you know what I mean by obvious parenting? It's when people aren't just parenting their child. They're doing it at top level so that they so that you can be sure that you know that they're doing it. They want you to know that they're parenting. So she was doing some very loud par parenting of a child called Sienna or Sierra, one or the other. And really quite hollering at her. And about whether this child could have this this doll or what not, and then and then it was if I if I buy this for you, then I'll have to get something for so and so. What shall I get for? I can't remember what so and so's name was. Probably Phileas or Furb or something. What shall I get for him? And I said, and I literally muttered under my breath, earplugs, and then realised I'd done it out loud. Luckily, she didn't hear me. <laughs> I got two paperback books. I think they were 75 pence each. I got Derek Longdon for my mum. This is I'm a Stranger Here Myself. Now, Derek Longdon wrote books about his mum um, and about his wife. His wife had Emmy back in the days when Emmy was only, I think it was Emmy, back in the days when Emmy was only just begun, beginning to be recognised and chronic fatigue syndrome and chronic pain syndrome and that was called Diana's Story and then he wrote books about his mum who I think had early onset dementia um, and that was called Lost for Words and my mum particularly enjoyed those books so when I saw this one I thought I'd get her that. Um, I think it's um, autobiographical. Yeah. I'm a stranger here myself, his long done delightful keep the glasses off, hang on. His long done delightful and touchingly funny account of his everyday life. It's warm and witty and undeniably poignant and reminds you that the most hilarious adventures can happen between the kitchen and the bathroom. So that for mum, and then this one for me, which is Jessica Mitford's Ons and Rebels. I have, I was saying to Caroline, I've got the Mitford sisters, um, Letters Between Five Sisters downstairs, and I started it, but it's a huge hardback book, and so it went back, back on the shelf because it's just uncomfortable to sit and read, <laughs> which I know sounds ridiculous, but I've never read Ons and Rebels, so um, I shall enjoy, enjoy reading that, even though I'm not supposed to be buying books because my to-be-read pile is out of control. In the Animals in Distress shop, I think it's Animals in Distress, it might not be. It might be the Mare and Foal Sanctuary, actually, in Newton Abbott. I picked up this Stitch, Lilo and Stitch, Stitch Planner Organiser, which has all its papers inside. It's very nice, actually. Really nice thing. I think it may have been sold through Primark originally. I'm not 100% sure. I can't find this exact one through doing a Google image search. But all of the bits are in there and it is unused and it was £3. And I thought... I have I found some listed on eBay but they... Hiccups now, sorry. They haven't said whether it's actual Disney store or where it's from. It's got Disney on the back but then, you know, stuff Disney at Primark also has Disney on the back. It was £3 and I think I can probably list it between 10 to 15 hopefully. Age UK, I bought this little hanging plaque which is just going to go in my hallway and it says happiness starts with a wet nose and ends with a waggy tail. And that's for my hallway. We went into the British Red Cross in Newton Abbott. We, we nearly didn't. I said, should we go in there? And Caroline said, what's the point? Because the prices are always ridiculous in there. And we did go in and I actually did pick up what was a bargain at the time. So these are some very nice Queen's Rennie Macintosh Bone China mugs. This one's got a tea stain in, but tea stains are easily dealt with. Aren't they lovely? Aren't they lovely? They were £3 for a set of four. This was absolutely lovely. Bar an absolute, oh God. That was an absolute bargain. £3 for four of those was lovely. I was so pleased and I grabbed them. I was like, oh, so rare to get bargain in the British Heart Foundation. Count them. One, two. They're a lovely pair now. They're no longer a lovely set of four. 
because Carla's clumsy twat. The lady very kindly wrapped them all in tissue paper for me to give me a fighting chance of getting them home. I went into the next shop and dropped the bag. <laughs> dropped the entire bag. And I knew as soon as I'd done it, I was like, oh, that's probably the end of some of those. Got them back to Caroline's. So I've got something in my eye now. Got them back to Caroline's and sure enough, I'd broken the handle off one and smashed another one into mosaic. So now, having been a lovely set of four, they're now a lovely pair. Also in that shop, while I was there, I got this Johnson Brothers uh, mug. This was a pound, I think. I want to say a pound. And it says, this is the one that says, cleverly disguised as a responsible adult. I don't think I'm even cleverly disguised at this point. And in the... I don't know what shop this is. Oh, no, this was the Age Concern, because it's the same place as I bought the little plaque, I think. These are really nice, and I managed to get these home without spifflicating them. That's a good word. I don't, you don't hear spifflicating very often, do you? These were 2 99 for the pair. And they are Buchanan by Wren. So they're another very much Rennie Macintosh design mug. And they are Buchanan by Wren. And they were 2 99 for the pair. And I did manage to get them home without, as I said, turning them into a jigsaw. Now we went into the little animal charity. I don't know what it is. is it? it was the RSPCA. I knew it was an animal charity that's around the corner in Newton Abbott. And they had had a massive delivery of... A uh, massive donation of plus size clothes and in the top sizes, sort of 26, 28, 30, 32. Loads of it, brand new with tags, absolutely tons of it. I mean, this lady must have had just an entire room of unworn clothes. I, I don't know whether she's maybe she'd lost weight and then decided to donate it all, or maybe somebody had, had to clear her house out. I don't know. But Caroline spent over 200 pounds on um, stock. I was not buying stock clothing wise because of struggling with listing space and also because of trying to be aware that I don't need to buy very much at the moment. But I did buy some items for myself and two items to sell. But I'll show you these first just because these were sitting on top. These were also in the RSPCA shop and they are Easter moulds. So chocolate moulds or even baking moulds. You can make little sponge cakes or whatever. And it, I think there's two eggs, two bunnies. What's that middle one? Oh, so the middle one is a kind of a rabbit shape and then there's a bunny face on the end and an egg face on it. I've got four of those and they were a pound each. I need to get them listed ASAP, don't I? Because it is Easter very soon. So I need to get those on. And then from the clothing that I just mentioned to you, I got some tops for myself. I've tried this one on and it's okay. I don't really love the sleeves. The sleeves are quite long. And they have a lace trim on the edge, and I don't really love those, but the top itself is okay, and it's a nice length, so quite pleased with that one. Now this is brand new with its tags, it's from Shigo, and it is it was $5.95, so that's one for me. This one is one to sell. This is Evans, a size XXL they've written on the label. I don't know why they did that, because I'm sure Evans clothing has actual sizes in the side. Yes, yeah, so a 28. Evan size 28 and it was 3 95 this one's not brand new with tags. I, I, as you know, I love a bit of animal print. It's just a blouse. I love a bit of animal print, but I'm not really a blousey person. So that one's not for me. That was to sell, but that was 3 95 in a size 28. These are to sell. These were 50p. They had a big 50p basket and these were in there. They need... The back seam has slightly overstretched, so they just need to be popped on the sewing machine and then tightened up along that back seam and then they are good as new really because uh, they're very, quite nice elasticated waist wide leg <laughs> wide leg trousers in a large size they are from Evans and they're a size 30 so like I said I need to tighten up that back seam which is just literally one row of stitching on the sewing machine to bring that back seam slightly it's not even it's not even split it's just slightly overstretched so one row of stitching we're doing with that, and I've got to get the machine out soon and do some stuff. And then the last two items in this haul were for me. So a plain white t-shirt. This is from Limited Edition, which is yours clothing. And it's just a plain white rib t-shirt. That was £5.50 and is um, brand new with tags. They had this in lots of other colours. The lady must have... She must be one of those ladies who, if she saw something she liked, she bought it in all the colours because they had at least six of those in different colours, but they were all pastel and I'm not a great pastel person. I went with a white one, but I'm not a great one for pastels the rest of the time. 
And then I bought this, and this was brand new with tags, but I've worn it already. I've just taken it back out of my laundry so I can show you, because it was waiting to go down and be washed. And it is a star print sweatshirt with striped sleeves, ribbed hemline. It's got a nice zip detail on each side of the hemline. And it is a brand called Society Plus, which I'd never heard of. When I looked it up, it's Target in the US. So I really liked that. I thought it's a shame that I can't shop at Target more often because it's I've worn it, it's really comfortable, it's perfect size, perfect shape. Very, very happy with that. And now that needs to go in the laundry. That's it. That is everything I bought in the charity shops in Devon this time round. I'm going to get on with some listing. It is now 7.23 on a Sunday morning. I need to get this stuff listed because I'm going to go out car boot shopping any second now. Thank you for joining me for this one. I hope you've enjoyed it. And as always, if you've seen anything in these videos that you like the look of, you can drop me an email. My email address is in the description box. And um, and if, if you see anything you like, give me a shout. Because sometimes it hits eBay quickly and sometimes it just doesn't. In all honesty, sometimes it goes in the death pile and sits for ages. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon. Take care. Bye for now.